The bids are in. The gavel is dropped. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Wine Bid, we are finally hammered. That's right. This is Wine Bid Podcast. I hear all things wine retail, wine value, wine auctions, and just wine. With you as always, I am Jeff McGurn on the Wine Bid Marketing Team. Of course, here with me is my compatriot, our wine expert, Paul, the Jurat of Jug Wine Walker. That's <laughs> right. Paul is here with me. And what's, the, what's, the, what's the term? The Jurat. Jurat. Okay. Yeah. All right. You don't know what a Jurat is? No, what is this? It's a, uh, it's it's like a, you know, it's a jurat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not an expert in your lingo, nor am I an expert in wine. But let's go for it. It's, it's a person who has taken an oath or performs a duty. Okay. Yeah, you're that, but of jug wine, like a juror. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, look, we're gonna be doing our wine auction recap. Okay, that's what's gonna be going on today. And uh, yesterday, which was Sunday, May 19th, 7 p.m., uh, 2024, we had our auction end and a lot of interesting stuff happened. I'm going to jump right into it. There were some big movers. Paul, stop looking at your screen. Look at me. Paul, I'm look not, at me. I'm not looking. I'm not trying don't, to cheat at what, what cheat. got the most action last night. There's too much stuff to, to see anyway. So Paul is trying to cheat because we had some really interesting movers last night. And Paul needs to try and guess what country. The biggest mover. Yeah, when you so when you ask this question, it leads me to believe it's not France or California or France or the U.S. It could it could be or maybe California is not a country yet. Or you you could go with a region. You go with a region as well. I'm just okay. Saying, I want to say I'm just going to say Jura. I'm just thinking about those Ganavat Magnums, but I could be totally wrong. So um, you are totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. like way off. Our okay. our biggest mover was from Australia. Oh, really? Was it the Rendere wines? It was the 2000 Rendere Shiraz, starting yeah. 70. Those were definitely my picks for sure, because they're super, super sought after and really, really rare. And I don't even know. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't recall seeing recent vintages of them. You know, like I never, you never see it at retail. You never see it in restaurants. It's extremely hard to find. So I'm, yeah, that, that's not surprising. Start at 70, hammered at 225 for a, a dramatic increase of 221%. Yeah, that's impressive. Now the other wines though didn't do as well, right? Cause there was Cabernet Shiraz and there was what, one or two other wines, I think in the auction. They did not know. They did not do as well. Yeah, which is interesting. I mean, I guess people are purists. They're going for the straight. They want the straight Shiraz. Okay, so the other, yeah, the, the, the 2000 Shiraz Malbec hammered, what, 230 looks like, or two, two, or no, excuse me, 130, 120, and started at 80. So, yeah, okay. That's impressive. That's very cool. Another, another big jump from uh, this time, we're in the United States. In Oregon, huh. um, we got oh. a big jump from uh, 2010 Anticatera Pinot. Anticatera, that was I was going to say Anticatera. Okay, Anticatera. wow, yeah. yeah, that stuff's been on fire for a while now. For a while, two bottles both jumped from 65. One went to 181, the other went to only 150. Same bottle, really? <laughs> yeah, both wow. 2010 Anticateras. Uh, one went up 178 percent. One went up 100. 30.77 65 to, well yeah the other one had a light label condition issue so you know that that must have been it there must have yeah, been it was, yeah, that, <laughs> that light label condition issue was worth 31 bucks <laughs> <laughs> like i i really really want a, a a completely clean label this one this one was kind of interesting from the rhone uh okay. 1966 albert thierry cote de rhone reserve hey yeah that was one of my picks because I was like, that's a really interesting wine. $25. From, it's, they're $20 at start. $20. <laughs> 20 bucks. Hammered at 45 I mean, even 45 that's not a bad deal yeah. at all. You know, here's the deal. If you had purchased a thousand cases <laughs> of this <laughs> of 1966. Oh, boy. Just uh, retrospective investment. Or, or the window of Shiraz, you know, if you had just purchased 10,000 cases. Well, 2000. you know, it's funny you mentioned Wendere because, I mean, it's sort of been progressively climbing in value for a long time, but it's never had a jump like that where, it, you know, started at 70 and went up to 225. Yeah, that's that's really wild. 
That was an okay, yeah. So the 2000 last time it was an auction was in 2006. <laughs> That's amazing. It's been a minute. Um, so so yeah, the Altieri that went up 125. percent Um, this one was interesting as well. Maybe not as interesting. Um, 2015 domain uh, Lorenzon Mercury piece 13. Uh, started at 25, hammered at 58. We sold 25 of them. I wow. Did I note that down right? 20, I, I see it. Like I, I put these together and I said, I'm like, do we sell 25 of those things? Well, this, what's interesting actually is last week, there were quantities of rare wines that looked to me like a, like a trade individual or, you know, a collector who had been in the trade or maybe a broker or, you know, somebody who worked for a brokerage was unloading a selection of rare wines. And this is one of them because there was other Lorenzon Mercure in last week, including 2015. The PS13, I think, well, there were five bottles in one lot. Were there 20 in another? And then there was no, there was another lot. I don't know. There could have been, there definitely could have been more in last. Did you say it was PS15? 13, 13. 13. Okay, yeah. So there were various PS wines in last week, but I don't think there were 25 of the maybe same. It was, maybe it was five. It was five. I looked at that and I was like, 25? I really doubt that. But Yeah, I mean, um, even so, like, you know, to, to see that many bottles, the last time it was an auction was four years ago. So, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of rare to see multiple bottles for something that we don't see for <laughs> four years. For four years. Another one, uh, the 104% increase on this 03 Chateau Lafierre. Hey, oh, La So, yeah, yeah, so I, you know, it's funny. I was pushing all these half bottles of Sauternes because I was like, look, there's so many great deals. And then they all kind of doubled in price. They're all doubled in price. Yeah, 25 to 51, right? Two of those. And you know what? You know what? I don't want to, like, give a spoiler alert here. I don't know if we're going to have time to talk about France and our new, you know, our staff picks. Or, no, or, there's a ton of half bottles. Don't, don't, don't say anything. Fine. No, don't no, no. I'm gonna bid on some of those. Don't no, say no, no, no. What I was gonna say is, if you look at the pricing, you will now notice that the 750s that are available this week are a much better deal. Yes. Like the, the half ball is 45 and the 750 is 60, or the half ball is 35 and the 750 is 50. You know, like the, it's a much better deal to buy. Whereas last week, I was like, look at all these amazing half bottles for 20 bucks or 25 bucks, and then they all doubled in price. So <laughs> similarly, similarly, um, and again, this is a little bit of a spoiler because I don't know if we're going to get to it, but I'll tell people, normally mags are going to be, or large format are going to be just an incremental price 750, right? So it's $700 right. a mag's 200. This week, there are a bunch of really cool mags in that are actually a discount. Where, mm -hmm. like, if the 750 is 210, the mag is like 380 or something along those right. lines. There's right. Like, Which is very strange. And so, like, half bottles of sort of turn end up not being as, as good a deal as Magnus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so yeah. there's a lot of that going on right now where, where you can actually get a good deal by getting a larger format. It's true. It's true. Um, I don't know, you know, regarding Sauternes, I'm not sure about when you're going to drink a Magnum Sauternes. You need a lot of people for that. But you know, know. as far as still, you know, or still dry red wines, et cetera, it's a good, it's a great deal. My friends love Sauternes, okay? I have parties, <laughs> Sauternes parties all the time, Paul. You don't know my situation. <laughs> okay? All right. Um, you have, you know, 10 bottles of wine, and then all of a sudden you're on to the dessert course, and you have a Magnum. <laughs> you're like... You're like who, who wants a tumbler? Yeah, people are gonna you know, request like half an inch of glass or something. One hundred percent increase on a twenty thirteen Julie uh, Balangi Fleury La Grand Rosé Magnum went from one sixty to three twenty. Wait, where is this wine? I have to. Oh, Julie Balangi Fleury Grand Rosé. So this is Beaujolais. I don't know this producer. I'm not an expert, even though Jeff calls him one. But that is very interesting i wonder huh that's very cool yeah very i mean and that was the first time we've seen that at auction i think that's you know probably not surprising we've got this um oh i'll call 10.7 <laughs> wow. yeah Tw uh, 2012 philippe uh pasolet uh Gervry chambertine went from oh the pacole yeah this was one of my picks okay we had the 64 uh, increase on this 2015 city family shannon blanc Sherberg. <laughs> That was another one because I was kind of impressed because I said, oh, wait, you know, because these Sadie family wines are very expensive and 
we've seen them pretty we see them pretty often we see chen and then some of the reds you know i would say once or twice a month maybe but i thought oh that's not a bad deal <laughs> 50 bucks for shen and Mock. well not exactly went up to 81 dollars, 82 dollars. so this next one went up 58.33 percent but it only had two bids really yes and I think it's the largest gainer by dollar value. Wow. Care to guess which one it was? Mm, I wanted now I wanted to say, like, you know, what are these early release multi-vintage champagnes or something like that? No, which no, have been breaking no, records. No. No. You should well, know, you should know this one. You should know this. I should. Well, well, give me a hint. Give me, give me a hint. This wine, I think, is just out of this world. That was a Chapelet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, come on. That was a really good hint. 2008 Domain. Oh, okay. Yeah, Ast- 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 the asteroid. I forgot Ast- about the asteroid. Okay. I can't believe I forgot about that. Hammered at $1,900. Okay. So it was sitting at, what, 1300 for a good part of the week? Because I don't think it got another bid until later in the week. And so it sounds like... So but, sniped at the last minute. <laughs> I'm curious. Well, it almost sounds like maybe the two bidders... Got in no, but you're right. Two bids, so I guess twelve hundred. Sorry, right. well, I have to look at that. That's pretty fascinating, right? I wonder also if that is a nice segue into our records, our sort of weekly winners. Uh, you know, well, records that we've broken in our own auction and versus external data that we could see. Before we go into that, I do want to call out just a few really notable. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to cut yeah. you off. But no, I was no, no, no. I, I want to cut out. I mean, obviously, the asteroid sold it. That, that's really notable because it, it is pretty rare. Um, we had two six liters of Dalavaya and Maya that sold a 96 and a 97. Oh, they did. Okay. So those have been in for a little while. Yeah. They've been in for a while. I, I've been looking at this like, I you know, Maya is fantastic. And I was like, six liters. Yeah. Uh, Maga Petru sold for 2,800. Oh, wow. The 90 Rias Ch- Chateauneuf de Pap sold for 2490. Did that sell at reserve? I was curious. It's 2490. Yeah, was there were no bid. bids. There were no bids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, one, there was one bid. One bid, yeah. An 1863 Taylor Fladgate limited edition, uh, very old single harvest port. One bottle lot in a plastic case because that's all they had back in 1863. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was one of my picks last week too from yes. portugal because i have not seen i mean that looks like a obviously the packaging and and the, the decay etc is very you know you very think, oh, you think that's not the original i know <laughs> plastic, <laughs> plastic, plastic, plastic case is yeah it plastic? it's probably bids. some composite material anyway i'd that love to see bids, it. uh taking it from 2100 to 2300 um, obviously we talked about the asteroid, uh, the six liter of 83 Phelps insignia sold for 1800. I thought, okay, cool. Yeah. That was, that was hanging out for a couple of weeks. That was too. Hanging out. 61 Obreon sold for 1700 and I will cap it off. We can go. I want you to take away the weekly winners after this 94 mag of Ornelia Macedo. Oh, wow. So, right. Awesome. Uh, now, and I think this is one we've talked about maybe a couple of weeks ago because we don't see Macedo max all that often. No. No, things are pretty rare. I think there is one in this week, but normally we don't see them that often. Yeah, no, we. Do. I mean, we really don't. I think you might be yeah. right. Take it away. What? What? Talk to me about our weekly winners. Yeah, no, I mean, you already mentioned. I think a couple things. Uh, most notice, no, most notably, the Raven. Or come on, I can't, I can't. I can't keep up today. The Dagno, excuse me, Asteroid, Asteroid. If you prefer, it looks like I looked at the bidding history. It looks like it was just two bidders. So there were technically more than two bids, but two individual bidders were going at it exactly. So ended up hammering at nineteen hundred. Very impressive. There was a external hammer at twelve thirty last year in a competing brick and mortar auction house, but otherwise that appears to be the high hammer worldwide uh let's see antica terra we talked about the 2010 there was a mag of 09 hammered at 400 which seems to be a high anywhere around um arno aunt Marceau coming through with some very expensive chardonnay the 11 hammered at 605 and the 2010 Claude on hammered at 900 which is <laughs> that's definitely getting into coast Rica territory maybe even more expensive than uh village coast so 
Very impressive there for Arno Ant. Uh, Capolano, the Barolo Otin Fiorin Pie Franco Miche, which I think is a pretty rare designation. We see the Rupestris from time to time, actually fairly often. This wine, though, uh, you know, 24 years old. And that hammered at 665. Looks like there's been not a lot of activity externally on that 480 back in two, 2022 at a competing auction house. Um, oh yeah, another one of my picks, 70 Mouton, hammered at 565. Very that's a big number for any 70s vintage Mouton, probably one of the highest actually for the for the whole decade. 19 Mouton also hammered at 695. Looks like there was one hammer externally in this year, 2024, at 700. So that's really close to the world record, at least as far as the data we can see from Wine Market Journal. Uh, let's see, 1990 Raveno Blanchot at 1200, 88 Jacques Salas. That was one that I was, yes. I was pretty blown away. I was like, wow, we don't see that, you know, vintage wines from Salas no. from back then very often. Uh, 1860 for that 88. Let's see, Roche de Blanc, Grand Zetraso at 405 for the 2018. That's impressive. 99 Rene Angel von Romany at 860. That's pretty incredible for village wine, but those, those wines are obviously very sought after. You mentioned the 1863 Taylor, the Mag of Macedo, you also mentioned. And then there was some action in California, the Tusk Estates Cabernet Magnums, which if I'm not mistaken, you don't get magnum allocations on the mailing list, I think, unless you've been on the list for a while. And 2012, obviously, it's got some time on it. That hammered at 1320 and the 18 hammered at 1350. And then rounding it out, uh, where we see records pretty often these days is the 81 Vega Cecilia Unico at 700. So a nice batch worldwide there. So great stuff. Just some really cool, interesting stuff that happened at this last auction. There's going to be a lot of interesting stuff at this auction this week, which uh, is ending on May 26th at 7 p.m. Pacific time, 2024. And just as a little treat, we'll give you $15 off an order of $150 or more if you use the code G Jurat, J-U-R-A-T, just this week only. It'll expire uh, at the end of this week. And keep an eye out for our next episode. We're going to recap a lot of the cool stuff coming to auction this week with Wine Bids Finally Hammered. This has been Jeff McGurn and Paul Walker wishing you happy bidding and cheers. Cheers.